Hi, welcome back to VK Online Education Training Course. The theme of this unit is Monitoring Events. First, we open the Monitoring Event tab. Press the plus sign to add a monitor event. Here, we will see that there are five different monitoring events. In the following lesson we will introduce it one by one. On this page, we can see the different devices that we can monitor. Like, we can monitor flag or variable value. Of course, we can also monitor the status of the I.O. port. There are listen port and query port here. It can also monitor RS-232 and devices on TCP IP. The only difference is that the listen port is used for the device that can automatically send feedback messages to the VK host. Meanwhile, the query port is used in the device that will not actively feedback messages. Because of that, you have to send a query command to the device first. After the device receives this query command, it will feedback its message to the VK host. So basically, they are set in exactly the same way. The only difference is that the query port needs to make an additional setting, that is to choose a query command. Next, we have to actually test this function. Before testing, we need to have an auxiliary tool called server software. We install this server software on our computer and let VK control the host. We connect to this server software via TCP IP connection. And, we can manually input any information from this software. It will help to simulate feedback messages received by VK control host. So, we'll be able to test all the monitoring functions on the VK. Next, let's create an example. First, I'll go to the device settings. Select the first port of the Ethernet port. Move to the property on the right. Here, we add a new device. Because the software I use is called Hercules, I will call it Hercules here. Of course, there are other software that can have the same function. Here we use Hercules as an example. Then, we set all the settings below. Here, I choose TCP port. The IP part is the IP location of my own computer. I open the command prompt to view the IP location of my computer. Then, on this communication port, you can enter anything here. However, we should not use port 80 as much as possible because it is used for HTTP port. So, we changed it to any other number. Here, I set it to 9999. After setting, click here to add a new device. This completes the setting for this connection. Next, we upload this profile to the VK control host. After upload, we then run Hercules. Hercules provides a lot of testing functions, for example, you can also test RS-232 and TCP client. Then, here we are using the function of TCP server. We see that our communication port is set to 9999 on the right. Next. We press the listen button to start the TCP server function. After clicking the listen button, you will see a green message on the bottom. It means that a client has been connected to this server. We can see the detail of its IP location. That's exactly the IP location of our VK control host. Next, we can enter text like this to send a feedback message, and pass it to VK control host to test the monitor function. Another thing to pay special attention to is, the numbers and text entered here are ASCII code. But, if you want to have hex code at the same time, you'll need to use the correct symbols on this software. The symbol you can use is dollar symbol, sharp symbol, and lesser than symbol. Anything you write after that symbol will be treated as hex value. This is all the content of this unit. Thank you for watching. See you in the next lesson.